तामुचे सागराचे इतिहासाचे जनावनाचे गीतामुचे जागराचे गीतामुचे आकाशाचे गीतामुचे
थैंक यू so on behalf of uh, dr um, baba saheb ambedkar marathwada yeah. university ugc human resource uh, uh, development center uh, i welcome to the all participants teacher participants students those who have joined this cloud meeting for a webinar on national education policy changing role of teachers indeed it is really a pleasure and honor for all of us to have one of the senior most faculty member from this university campus professor dr satish patil sir uh, uh, as a resource person so before going to a brief introduction of the resource person uh, the university grants commission uh, uh, Ministry of Education is celebrating Shikshak Pro from fifth September to ninth September. So they have requested all the UGC Human Resource Development Center to organize lectures on National Education Policy 2020 and changing role of teachers. So our Human Resource Development Center, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar, Marathwada University, has organized uh, this webinar. And we are really thankful to the resource person for uh, accepting the invitation professor dr satish patil sir working as a professor in department of uh, environmental science of our university his academic qualification is msc and phd in environmental studies a person with a vast teaching and research experience of uh, 25 years under his able guidance 22 students have been awarded phd degree and eight students are currently working he has also published two patents uh, uh, he has national journal publication 45 international publication 55 he has presented papers in five seminars and four international seminars uh, he has also authored uh, six book he have successfully uh, completed 12 research projects uh, 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 and also with an outlay of uh, Around one crore fourteen lakhs fourteen thousand. He has also provided consultancy to the industry uh, and has generated uh, the revenue of eight lakh ten thousand. He has attended conference and workshops uh, at national and international level. His area of expertise is environmental impact assessment, environmental quality risk assessment studies, environmental pollution studies, eco toxicology, water pollution, environmental. Uh, uh, philosophy biodiversity air pollution uh, uh, he has also penned uh, many books and has been honored by many awards so i would now request uh, professor dr satish patil sir to take over the proceedings good afternoon all of you the <coughs> director of the hrdc professor mustajib sir 
assistant director dr mohammad rafi all the participants students and friends as we all know that the new education policy which has been drafted and implemented since 2020 and as we all know that a new education policy there are different kinds of reforms which has been brought and which has been considered in the policy and a different levels of qualifications in a given education and training systems that has been expected to be a quality assured and different pathways of learning including the experimental learning and as you all know that the new higher education systems which particularly tends to be inclusive of all the tertiary education and training sectors and learning pathways for example you know that the technical vocational education and training and even the higher education institutions and even a cover public and the private institutions are there which are based on the robust quality assurance that enhances the credibility and builds the trust in learning outcomes which is being achieved at the different levels of qualification framework and it also includes the different mode of learning including formal non formal as well as the informal learning so that the outcomes which are comparable recognizable and even transferable and that which particularly contributes to the lifelong learning accreditation of the prior educational learning which these are some of the examples how the flexible learning pathways which are being integrated into the higher education systems in this policy and when we are talking about the, the 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 recognition of prior learning and the integration of skill and the competencies which is being earned by the learner in the past or in parallel and even as a credits into the formal certification of the academic qualification so whether studying at home or abroad online or offline it is very essential to ensure a peace and stability and this consideration is also at the core of the sustainable development goal which is known as the sdg education 2030 agenda and this shared vision which lays out a universal and transformative aspirations whereby the innovation solution must be a part of the integrated agenda which is also we can say the 17 sustainable development goals which are essential to create a lasting chance under this national skill qualification framework nsqf this nsqf will be delighted further for each standards or each standard disciplines the vocational and the professional for with the general education systems and you know that the indian standards that will be aligned with the international standards of occupations which is being maintained by the international labor organizations and this framework nsq framework will also provide the basis of recognition of prior learning through this dropouts from the 
formal education system that will be reintegrated by aligning the the practical experience with the relevant level of framework and the framework this framework for the skill development which particularly envisages that the skilling will be integrated with the formal education by introducing the vocational education classes right from the secondary level educations and in, all, in even in higher education the skilling will be integrated with the polytechnics offering the nsqf aligned vocational courses and the bachelor degrees in the vocational studies so that the my concern is that the nations this needs to meet the employees needs for the worker with science technology engineering and even mathematics skills that may or even that many of today's jobs across all the sectors which requires this framework and this framework opens an opportunity to fall to participate in the benefit from the advances in science and technology as we all know that when we wanted to synchronize the the general education system with the skill or the vocational education system it is very very important that we should know that the how to implement the skill courses into higher education system so, so i'll share my uh, thoughts with you with a uh, screen share please wait for a minute can you see the screen yes sir okay so when we are talking about the the list of skills for the higher education you know that generally when we are talking about the skill it is nothing but the ability to do something which is usually being gained through the training or experiences and something which is requiring a training to do well that requires a training and experience for example and art or the trade now wait for a minute
now your screen is visible sir screen is visible okay. yes yes sir. but wait for me second slide okay. is visible okay now third now third when we are second. talking about the skills you know that there are different kinds of skill what we have that is nothing but the professional skills you know that this is a skill which particularly needs for the graduate students to succeed in professional practice or in professional career because as you know that this particular professional skill which ranges from highly specific to the graduate students or the graduates field to more general this skill should be are transferable such as the communication and the ethical practices what we have and the question that will come to your mind that how this professional skill is to be achieved because it is very important because you know that this skill can be achieved either on the education whether it is a formal or informal education or those who are on job even on job training can be done get done and even the life experiences whether it is a good or bad that is also a, a skill or that is also experience that you can learn a skill through this now as far as the professional skills are concerned there are top seven professional skills that are very very essential for the career success which are they that that, that that will discuss for example communication as you know that every job requires a communication skill with the other people in speaking and even in writing and the professional that needs to explore or they express themselves clearly in the their dealings with the supervisor under law and even the co-workers and even the clients also because communication is very very important and if you have that kind of skill that will certainly help you to succeed in your job now you know that communication skill can be achieved either by the oral presentation by a awareness or critical listening it can be written that is a level of writing and the critical reading presentation of data as well as the non verbal way that is the personal presentation and even the body language through body language also the communication can be done now the communication skill i have always five c's for communications and these five c's are very very important like the clarity competitiveness completeness consensus concreteness and correctness that is five c's are very very important as far as the communication skill is concerned because you know that the completeness is also equally important in this now you know that it has been told by the paul mayer that the human connection is the key personal and the career for the career success communication is the human connection which is very very important for your career success now second type of skill is information technology skills which is also very very important in the today's context because this is today is a technological world now this information technology you know that we are using a different gadgets today like a computers pda software internet softwares internet and all sorts of highly sophisticated tools which have been taken over the workplace and now every worker that needs to have at least a basic level of knowledge or even skill and comfort with the modern technology just to be able to function and that is what is very important that it's all about the enhancing productivity the technological skill that a, a learner should have now this technology will also continue to reshape for the workplace and changing how there are 
where we conduct a business and as a result as you know that the flexibility and adaptability that will be also sought after contributes in employees at all levels now for example what will be the workplace for the future because you know that nowadays earlier normally people used to have employment in the offices offline they were joining the office they were doing something some business in the uh, the, the offices but nowadays the place of work which has been changed and by sitting in one in one room you can have a multi level of access by using a different gadgets you you can have a multitasking business opportunities when you are fully with the equipped with the skills because you know that by using a different gadgets and the technology you can have a business opportunity all over the world by sitting in a single room now the information handling skill that is also very important hands on training because you know that in our everyday professional life the information is found to be overload like for example we normally used to handle every day the emails sms messages bb messages facebook twitter messages seminars invitations even the calendar applications and even you know that the the phone calls reports letters and what not you are every day you are handling all these things so that the highest challenge before us today is that to process the large quantities of information which is quickly and efficiently by filtering scheming and processing prioritizing and even defining what should be the next action whether to do it or delete it whether to respond it or delete it and whether to wait or do it in later stage now the other type of skill is multitasking skill you that today is is a age where we have to have a business multitask by a different business at a time different business at time by having a multitasking skill so this this picture will show that at a time you can operate all the gadgets as many as fingers you have and that is what the in the years to come if you are full of skills and the technological advancement if we have and the operational skills you can have multitasking business all over the world by sitting in a single room so that it is multitasking is a act of doing multiple things at once we don't know whether multitasking is good or bad but you know that it has been shown by several studies which has been carried out with the mixed results and it would also appear that in some cases the multitasking is needed which is found to be a very effective way to utilize the time while in other instances the quality of work that also suffers as a result of the split attention now a certain amount of multitasking which becomes necessary and even expected in many industries also but it is very very important when you do decide to multitask and make sure to check that your work is carefully you are doing it carefully to ensure that it is of one of high quality and considers amending a multitasking for certain task if you notice a decline in it now the fifth type of skill is a critical thinking skill which is a very very important when we wanted to do any kind of business or even the employment 
because it has been told by the scientists that don't bring me problems bring me the solutions critical thinking is a process where we have to see that we have to analyze reason it evaluate the critical thinking should be given how to solve the problems and the decision making in every process the critical thinking skill is very very useful and applicable to this now you know that the critical thinkers are skeptical open minded fair value fair that is which respect the evidence and reasoning and even the respect clarity and the, the this precision which can be looked out at different point of view and will also change the position when reason loads to, to do so so that the critical thinking is a criteria to think critically which must apply where it, it must apply certain criteria for this the next skill is a teamwork team working skill because you know that unless and until you don't work together there is no there is a team of workers the success cannot be achieved because you know that the concept of teamwork is a self explanatory because you know that the each individual that brings his or her skill in a concentrated manner and which can each one can coordinate it with the other skills and which will certainly give a desirable end now through the teamwork as you know that what can be achieved whether it is a sport whether it is our community or whether it is a workplace when there is a team the success can be easily achieved and that is what the teamwork skill is also very very important for the which is a the the success key then a continuous learning skill which is also very much required because once you are having a your degree or diploma which is a lifeline li lifelong guarantee of success and the knowledge because you know that today the continuous learning and education which is required to stay a competitiveness competitive in the industry and job markets to stay abreast of new developments in your field enhance your professional knowledge skill and even to see the see where your clients most effectively now a growing number of the professions which requires a continuous education credits or even periodic recertification for example the areas of accountants physicians surgeons architects engineers ict professionals these are the field where you have to have a continuous learning sessions so when you practice a professional career which is a brand race and as you all know that life is no longer warm and fuzzy but lifelong learning is a precondition of your future career success but as you, as you know that if you go stop learning you will become unemployed and unemployable every quickly now when we are talking about the regional skills i am talking about in the maratwada context uh, ma this maharashtra context there are several skill development courses which has been designed which can certainly help to perform particularly activity in every ex the, the experience manner and this skill development courses which are normally being offered in various forms of the programs like certification 
diploma, PG diploma, undergraduates of bachelor level, postgraduates, or even master levels, PhD and even doctorate levels. As you know that in the NEP, it has been framed that there should be a list of majors and minors. That is, majors are nothing but the core courses where the mobility is being allowed all over the country and even at the international level. There are certain courses which has been framed into their particular uh, the the credits, and these core credits are also can be which can be also uh, which can be transferable, but the regional credits that is very much required in order to enhance the skill for its employability and job opportunities. And that is what the skill development courses, particularly in the higher education, which have a single advantage, which can tip the scale in your any favor. And as you know that the organizations which are working in this field all over the world, which are also investing heavily in the specialized courses for improving the technical and academic skills. And these kind of initiatives, which has been welcome, because this, these are the initiatives which can certainly bring a changes that will allow students and working professionals to actively analyze the business paradigms and even expand their job opportunities. So these courses are relevant, which will certainly help to stay up to date on the industry and even the regulations. Even some of the undergraduate courses, which are being offered by renowned skill development institutes, like a BO, BSc, and even BSc degrees. So there are a there are number of skill development certification courses, which have been also offered by the various institutes as an online website courses on by using a different platform. And even the admissions for UG and PG and even PhD courses that requires an entrance exam in some cases and which is being done based on their merits in most of the cases. Now, you know that when we wanted to apply apply the, the, the skill development courses at undergraduate level. The bachelor level courses that last three years and the basic eligibility is 12 graduate or 12 grade diploma from the recognized board of education. Here, the topics which are covered in the class, which are usually different depending upon the specialization chosen by the candidate. Even the, the skill programs in postgraduates, which are also looking for the additional specializations, which will pursue this option. And the master programs that will last in two years. And the primary requirement is that, which is a bachelor degree from a recognized university. Even a doctorate programs can have a skill, skill-based particularly in banking and finance, as well as in economics, which are available, and candidates in teaching profession, which will also pursue this program. Now, when we are talking about the, the these skills, as you know that the higher education and the, the widening of regional partners' perspectives, which are widening now, and as you are well aware that, the higher, edu higher education institutes. Now they are acting as within their national governance systems. Because you know that university plays a variety of roles in the national governance systems. Even at an individual level, the universities which has been seen their role as a privileged providers of these certain types of knowledge which evolves and face the challenges from an increasingly competitive global market force of ideas. 
Now, when we are talking about the these uh, the, the regional uh, skill plans or the skills, as you know that the we need to give a focus, or even we need to improve the focus and the impact of career education. And you should we should be able to advise to the young peoples because you know that the countries like India, where we have a tremendous potential, of the skill development, we should work closely with the Department of Education and even its agencies because it is very very important. that the more people to move into the higher skill jobs and even more people that should move into the employment because the countries like india where we found that the employment problem is a challenging and the more skilled em employees which are available to support the business growth and the productivity as you know that in all communities which should be benefited from the region's economic growth and a responsive skill systems agile and the responsive skill systems that is more aligned to the needs of the business and individuals so that there's a need to develop a, the action develop programs with our partners to respond these their ambitions in a continuous uh, as a continuous part of their program and that is what when we are talking about the, the skills we should focus on the regional skills because you know that the country like india there are several cultures several needs industrial needs local needs domestic needs environmental challenges challenges like a changing climate global warming and even there are many many problems the indians which are facing at the regional level so if you could focus on these aspects and if could be able to bring them into the educational framework i think we will be able to come out with a concrete solution to see that if you are well trained and if there is a hands on training to tackle and deal with the situations you will be a part of solution you will be a part of solution now for example a diploma in fashion and textile design which is also can be a post graduate program in welding etc which is being offered the duration also may vary from Three months to one year, so that the small small courses which can be also designed as a list of bucket that is bucket list of skills. There are certain several certificate programs. For example, the general training and the certifications, which has been provided by many of the institutions, as well as some colleges in this case of offline certification. And even there are a number of. online certification programs which are available such as the efficient hps system preparing a network with english or even certificate courses in gis and remote sensing so and so and so forth now the certificate courses in skill development which can be considered as an additional qualification for the graduates with the bachelor's or the master's program and this duration may varies of each course the that all the way depends depending upon the institution or even online website providing the course normally the certificate courses which can be categorized into the online certificate courses or even offline certificate courses 
which can enable a person to learn from anywhere in case of online mode for example by sitting at home and to learn at it at a time say even at the night or even morning wherever it's you have a leisure time for you you can learn you can have a this kind of course because you know that the pandemic has opened up the avenue for all over the world that you can study by sitting at home at different courses at different time and even there are numerous online websites which are present nowadays which certainly provides online courses at a flexible duration so wherever offline courses are offered by some colleges or the universities or institutions which provide the candidates with hands on training or the hands on practice with a valid certificate that can be also very useful to the candidates as you know that nowadays there are several hands on training courses knowledge based courses skill courses which are available on this web platform in the form of mooc courses there are n number of courses which you can choose as a part of skill looking into the regional and the local needs now see for example online skill development courses which i have a list which is being offered in various online websites these are some of the courses which can be done with a bigger amount of fees and which can be done through this systems now there are certain offline development courses or certificates are also there and the few institutions which offer the offline few develop that is skill development courses in various specializations and you know that since there are number of certification courses which are available from a wide range of institutions only popular among these courses are which have been mentioned here like a certificate course in gis and remote sensing even certificate course in painting photography certificate course in translation course in communicative english programming and even python and even the certificate course in organic farming which are absolutely a skill based courses which can employ you and can be a part of your success these are some of the universities which can offer this the certificate courses so that when we are talking about this all uh, this the list of minors because you know that in the new education policy it has been always mentioned that you have every opportunity to choose the right career and you know that being a part of it you can have every opportunity to choose the the right career either by employing yourself or you can be a successful entrepreneur or a business people and by inculcating the appropriate skill and even by developing a partnerships which are very very important because you know that the universities directly contribute to the operationals of the regional governance systems because you know that the representing our own interest the university have their own interest and needs to achieve things from the local governance arrangements for example there are certain critical issues which are around planning where the land use practices can be for example decisively shape the universities latitude to pursue the core missions 
and even you have an opportunity selling the governance support services which has also been identified in the shift from mode 1 to mode 2 even you have an opportunity managing your business, own business because the universities now can undertake a several activities that impact on the local governments and the way that the universities plan their activities and their transparency in the the external relationships that can in turn affect the capacity of the local actors to use the universities presence as a positive advantage so that is supporting the communities of the good citizens which is highly by the uh, highly skilled people which is being employed by the universities which have a, a a prosperity to join up the personal and the professional contact networks so that if this personal or social activities by involving the people with the with the connection to the university that can benefit from this pillar economics because you know that the university's governance the university network and the regional development which are the two sides of the single coin because you know that the universities and the higher education institutes which have increasing importance in terms of the levering the at the advantages in the competitiveness of their locations which is increasingly depend increasingly being dependent on the profession of the higher order urban functions which are knowledge intensive and as a competitiveness that all the way is dependent upon the knowledge production many local and regional authorities are perceiving the similar aspects or the similar strategies of the knowledge based developments and that that is what there is increasing recognition that that the successful strategies that require the attraction and retention of the global investments and the universities can provide a variety of mechanisms to help the local authorities attract such a investments the high profile universities or even the high profile universities can contribute to the urban competitiveness of particular places and the relationship is inter interdependent so that there are several skills which are very much required for the local governance even the for the local problems and even to solve the regional problems also so that it is very very important of course there are certain limitations on the university's potential impact which is a absorptive capacity of the local governance partners just as a fit to the local industrial structure which is also found to be a constraint on the universities that we all know but you know that at least for example the the other the environmental aspects are the from the environmental point dimensions the universities and the regional environmental dimension is very very important where the skilled courses can be designed accordingly because you know that as i told you that the universities which plays a very very important role to play in promoting the regional sustainable development in their locations perhaps what is perhaps more interesting from the sustainable development example uh, development example is the way that it demonstrates how the universities have a special kind of capacity and there are many similar with the role of which is being played by higher education institutes in the field of governance across the spectrum which are ranging from strategic high level institutions role to the individual role which is being played by a key animators in making a sustainable development a priority for the university so that the universities and higher education institutes can represent relatively a large actor which is being involved at least two core business businesses that is teaching and research with a relatively large discretionary budget often being granted special privileges by the 
national governments in turn for the delivering a particular services and as i let me tell you that the universities can bring together these resources thereby building there were building up internal capacities that together delivered a two activities that is academics doing teaching and research and so that the essence of the university is of an integrative institute uh, in, in, that is integrative institute that is a continuously serving to make a single asset work repeatedly and to share the cost between the assets in ways and produce the public benefits i think that is most important that we should take into the uh, consideration while developing the skill based courses and you know that the universities which has been means of cross fertilizing the between the different thematic areas that is very very important like a skill invasion cumulative Uh, there is the community close to the community teaching research and even service to the community these are some of the uh, the, the the thematic areas where the universities has to work out in the years to come and as you know that the university has as they are playing a local integrator of the national policy streams for the regional benefit that is take to be taken into the considerations because you know that the universities are responsible to develop the territorial development policies higher education policy as well as a labor market employment and even the skill policy the science and technology policy as well as the industrial and competitiveness policy because this is a mandate of university being a local and the regional agencies and i think the university university should work on these aspects like a science and technology policy territorial development policy higher education policy labor market and employment as well as skill policy and the industrial competitive policy i think this is the mandate of the university that they should work and they should work out while designing the skill based courses effectively and uh, the, the the benefit should be given to the uh, the those who are found to be uh, uh, the skill oriented developments in their city and that is what we should have to have a regional skill plans for that and this can be done by developing a certain kind of policies in their curriculum which is a very very important because as you know that now this uh, in the new education policy it has been designed that the academic bank of credits which is nothing but an academic service mechanism as a digital virtual or even the online entity which is being established and managed by the ugc or ministry of education to facilitate the students to become an its academic account holder and even the paving the way of the seamless student mobility between or within the degree granting the higher education institutes through a formal system of the credit recognition and this credit accumulation credit transfers and the credit redemption to promote the disturbed and flexible teaching learning so that as we have been allowed to have academic flexibility which is a provision for the innovative and interchangeable curricular the structures to enable create the combinations of the courses programs and disciplines of the study leading to a degree diploma or even pg diplomas and certificates of the study which are offering the multiple entry and multiple exit facilities in the tune with the national education policy 2020 while remaining the rigid curricular boundaries and creating a new possibilities of the lifelong learning also and that is what the structure of affiliated colleges autonomous colleges which has been 
designed and you know that even the credit amendments credit accumulation credit recognition and even the credit redemption which has also been allowed and even now the credit transfer facility that is under the name of abc academy bank of credits which has been also being uh, framed into the new education policy and that is what a program of the study in higher education which can be pursued for a degree specified by the under the section 22 by 3 of the ugc act and that is what the academic bank of credits where the core courses only can be transferred the credit of the core courses can be transferred but you know that the regional and the need based local skills that has been included into the the minors and now we are planning to have a packets of skills skill courses where we can offer these skill courses to the students for their better employment and business opportunities and that is what this ugc sorry this nep which has planned to see that the education system has been brought out out of the classroom and in order to promote student centricity with the learners friendly approach in higher education across the country and to prepare a more interdisciplinary approach in higher education this abc which has been brought that is academic bank of credits into the framework because you know that this academic bank of uh, the bank of credits which will certainly enable the students to select the best courses or even the combination of courses skill based courses to suit their aptitude and the knowledge first and which will certainly promote the students to choose a pace of their studies along with the associated logistics and the cost and it is very important that this abc allows the students to tailor their degrees or to make a specific modifications or specifications rather than undergoing the rigid regularly prescribed degrees or even the courses of single university or autonomous colleges also now as you know that the designing of this abc which enables a multiple entry multiple exit for the students which has been envisaged under the to complete the degrees as per their time preferences and providing the mobility across the various disciplines and the higher education institutes for the degree diploma even for the pg diploma certificate courses course work for phd program and etc etc so that designing the skill based courses this will support certainly the teaching learning activities which will happen in a distributed and blended manner to the integration across the campuses universities autonomous colleges with the increased mobility and for example the lifelong learning program among us all whether it is a formal or informal stu students both from the full time and the part time uh, there is modes and as you know that in order to satisfy the students quest for the knowledge the freedom which has been given the freedom to choose the choose and change the academic directions connect the different domains as well as help them to acquire the the the, the right foundations and building blocks of their dreams which is also being allowed so that which is which having a different organizational structures of the academic bank the different mode which has been adopted and as you as you know that this abc which has been a depository which has been awarded by the approved higher education institutes and you know that 
the registration to the different higher education institutes under the abc schemes and opening and closure as well as validation of the academic accounts of students credit verification credit accumulation as well as credit transfer and even the redemption of the students and also the promotion of the abc among the stakeholder which is a beautiful uh, the, the the decision which has been taken by the government and even the courses which has been undergone by the students through the online mode through the national schemes like swayam nptel vlabs or even any specified university shall also be considered for a credit transfer and even the credit accumulation but you know that the norms in respect to the curriculum content curriculum trans, trans, trans transaction educational technologies for the courses which has been offered the timings continuous evaluation methods attendance and even the novel methods of assessment this shall be also decided by the registered university or even by the college autonomous colleges in accordance with the overall policy and the philosophy of the holistic multidisciplinary education which has been proposed in abc scheme so that this is also a very very wonderful scheme uh, by having a by participating in the higher education systems we should be required to give a admission to the individual courses particularly the skill based courses in addition to a full degree program and this higher education institutes participating in the abc scheme which have appropriate educational infrastructure in terms of the audio visual facilities e resources virtual classrooms studios etc specifically the high bandwidth high bandwidth internet facility or connectivity online courses programs which has been offered and the other infrastructural facilities also is to be given now even the fee fixation which can be also affected the representative abc courses and there are several methodologies which has been proposed into the academic bank bank of credits for the higher education institutes which will help certainly help to design a regional local skill based courses for the employment and job opportunities and even for the entrepreneurship which is a very very uh, accepted and useful methodology which has been practiced for the first time into the academics that is very very important which will certainly help students to enable to inculcate the skill and get and get a, to to become a successful career now by choosing a career for a lot of young students it is a scary things but you know that the quite early in the life that you should decide what career that you should or you wish to pursue with because you know that it is a, probably one of the most important decision that you make in your life while choosing the courses and you know that the most people that will spend a more of their walking lives working than they doing anything else and the career choices are the life choices that take them seriously now you need to do it rightly so while choosing the right career you have to ask questions which career what is a what i am good at what i will enjoy even what kind of salary should be i i should have i i am happy with and would i rather be indoor or outdoor when experience do i i, I currently have the that may help or whether i want to have a creative job or not. so choice is yours that which kind of career you would like to be 
and it is variety of important to me that what I am interested in. That is very very important, and what I like, I would like to lead and manage the others. I think choice is yours. That which kind of career, whether it is the right or wrong, that you have to choose for. So that my career advice to the young students is to find out the what you like to do best, and get someone to pay you for doing it. Thank you. I think with this we'll stop because the time which has been given to me for the hour. <coughs> we can stop yes, here uh, uh, thank you sir now the session is open for uh, questions if any participants uh, any participant want to ask any question they can unmute themselves and ask the question participants you can uh, unmute or you can raise your hand Sir, it's Dr. Mahajabin Sayyad. A very nice and informative explanation. I congratulate you for that. Uh, my question, my query is that, sir, yes. regarding ABS, AB? academic bank system. So, ABC. Uh, how the yeah, yes. sorry, ABC system, hmm. uh, academic bank credit system. What will be the system? Incorporate all those credits in the uh, final mark sheet of the students. How they can get it? See, ma'am, in ABC, see that looking into the mobility and transfer of credits, the policy has to be designed that which credit are found to be transferable. Are you getting me? Which credits are to be transferred while in mobility? Because you know that. There are several uh, the courses which we need to design. That is, which I told you initially that the major courses, that is core courses and the minor courses. Major courses where we are found that the core courses, for example, if you design, because there in, a, in every curriculum, up to 20% flexibility which has been given to design a local or regional skill based courses and include it into your curriculum. Are you getting me? But when there is a question of transferring the credit from one institution to the other institutions, the core courses credit, which can be only transferred and which can be kept into the ABC, that is Academic Bank of Credits. The other courses, that is minor courses, that is skill based courses, which will certainly help you to get an employment of that particular area or to resolve the issues of that particular area. And by having a different, developing a different skills, which will certainly help you to design your success, to design your career. That is the only thing. Practically transfer of the, uh, the, 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 the courses, which can be only of the core courses in ABC skills, because you know that uh, it has been evolved a national level policy to, pro to approximate the or to design a, the flexibility curriculum framework uh, and a interdisciplinary or the multidisciplinary academic mobility of the students across the higher education institutes in the country with the approved credit transfer. Try to understand with the appropriate credit transfer mechanism through which the reg through the regulations. And it is a, it, it, you see that it shall be a mechanism to facilitate the students to choose their own learning path to attain a degree, diploma, or even PG degrees, working on the principle of the multiple entry exit, multiple entry and multiple exit, as well as anytime, anywhere, and any level of learning. You understand? So these credits can be only transferable. These credits can be only kept in ABC. Other credits can be used at an at an your in, uh, at your credit for getting an employment or entrepreneurship at the local or regional level. Is it very clear to you? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
And any more questions? <clears throat> any question from participant? They can unmute themselves and can ask the question. So I think that uh, no more. See, let me tell you that the ABC, that is Academic Bank of Credit itself is not a degree awarding program or degree awarding our organizations. Because you know that the statutory degree is awarding power that shall be continued to be vested with the eligible higher education institutes, which have been registered under the ABC. Because the institutes has to register ABC. Unless they are not found to be registered, the, 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 the credits of that institute cannot be kept into the, uh, the AB, Academic Bank of Credits. Do you understand? Yes. Uh you mean just like a swayam platform uh, that is registered and the rest of the um... no, no 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 now we in in the abc you have to register under the abc that your institute is being registered under abc so that then you have to follow the national guidelines for transferring the credits from one institute to the other institute like then you have to prepare a framework of the syllabus and the, the curriculum and then the some courses which are found to be core courses at the national level or the, the, the courses of national importance which can be only transferable while um, uh, the, uh, when the students have an opportunity of mobility from one education institute to the other education institute. Yes. So uh, any questions? Uh, still the resource person is there with us. So any questions you want to raise regarding the topic, new education policy? Hello. Hello. Yes, Patan, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. I have a short question about the new education policy 2022. Hmm. Uh, many uh, means diploma courses have created through the any institution. Mm -hmm. But uh, UGC not uh, means allowed uh, this course. See, see. <laughs> Can you hear me? About the, their career. Uh, I think you were muted. Hello? I, I did not understand your questions. Well, can you please, can you repeat your question? Hello, some, some diploma has uh, recognized through the any institution. Huh? UGC not allowed these courses. Why? Yeah, um, uh, only diploma courses depend on the any institution, but uh, uh, in in future, suppose a uh, uh, candidate uh, don't any help about their careers. No, no, no. See that whenever you wanted to pursue or whenever you wanted to design your own courses, first thing is that you should get a status of autonomous. Second thing is that the whatever the courses you design as per the local or the regional needs, these courses is to be approved by your affiliating body affiliating uh, the, the educational body, whether it is the university or any of the center. And no, no. once you get a so try to understand. I, once you get a I, 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 Hello. I I agree you are uh, means uh, uh, whatever you have opening about uh, this uh, yes. courses. Yes. Uh, some some student has got the uh, some uh, diploma courses, suppose uh, six month, one year. Yes. But uh, they can't uh, join anywhere about uh, their jobs uh, means uh, suppose uh, before yeah, but uh, see look, look, looking looking into the looking into the potential of employment <coughs> yeah. and the the entrepreneurships you should design accordingly the courses then it will be more acceptable but if you go on traditional designing of the, the only the uh, the classroom courses without yeah. any hands on training without any outdoor training without any field work without any internship Without mm. any associateship, I think that will not help to employ the students. I think the courses should be designed accordingly. Even even in some social pro projects, the, 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 this sociological project or psychological project has to be uh, undertaken, looking into the mindsets of the society. Then it then you will have a better opportunity to have entrepreneurships or the 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 employment. Oh, 
But um, uh, suppose you're demanding, uh, you have should uh, complete your uh, diploma course, means near about two years, three years, but uh, uh, you have completed your uh, one year course, they can't join anywhere about, uh, they don't have any job. We no, are available about see, your, uh, see, your, your see, diploma course only, uh, only see, one year. See, now in new education policy, you have got an opportunity to design a course and curriculum as per your choice, choice means as per your avenues which are available in your region or even areas. Second thing is that at every year, at every year, not a first year or second year, at every level of education, you will be assigned a degree or certificate so that you can take an exit from this that step and in every curriculum, at every level, some skill-based courses, some regional need courses, and <laughs> core courses <laughs> has to be included in every year of your curri uh, the, the, the curriculum, not for three-year degree course or one-year degree. At every year, you should include some skill courses, some uh, the, 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 the hands-on training that will help to employ the students. I think that is the beauty of the NEP, that at every level of education, you have an every opportunity to employ yourself as well as to become an entrepreneur. I think accordingly, we should see that the curriculum needs to be designed. I think that will give opportunity to the students to enlighten their career. Yes, Any questions again to be raised to the resource person? Anything for me? So I think so. Uh, no more uh, questions are there. So we can uh, conclude uh, this uh, uh, session. On behalf of uh, UGC Human Resource and Development Center. My special thanks to the resource person, Professor Dr. Satish Patil, sir, for sparing his valuable time uh, oh. through his knowledge. He has delivered a lecture on new education policy role of teachers, and mm -hmm. that will be really fruitful to all of us in the coming days as government in, is in the process of implementing the national education policy 2020. So my special thanks uh, to the resource person. Also my special thanks to all the participants, those who have joined uh, this uh, cloud meeting of the webinar. The feedback link will be provided to you in a day or two. And the limitation of that particular link is that only 60 certificates are issued in a particular day. And that uh, link is open till 10 to 12 days. So no need to worry for uh, the certificates. Even the last webinar uh, feedback link is still open. And those who have missed the certificates can fill that feedback and take the certificates. So my special thanks to all participants, those who have joined. Uh, this cloud meeting. Thanks a lot. I now declare uh, this webinar and technical session is over. Thanks a lot. Thank you.